New details on the effort to protect thousands of people attending San Diego Pride this weekend. The attacks on the large celebration in Nice, fresh on everyone's mind. Attendance reporter Brian Schlonsky is live in Hillcrest tonight. And Brian, police plan to have a lot of undercover officers at the Pride. Yeah, Kim and Steve, that's exactly right. And down here in Hillcrest, they're already preparing for Pride. Check this out. You see this big stage here? This is usually a parking lot, but you better believe that while they're preparing down here with all those attacks that have been going on, police also preparing. One month ago, Orlando, Florida, 49 people killed at a gay nightclub. Today, 80 people in Nice, France, run down at a national celebration by a suspected terrorist in a truck. The world's changing right before our eyes. I mean, Ray Shea is a former SWAT team commander and 25-year vet with San Diego police. So with San Diego pride just days away, we asked, how can San Diegans feel safe? Because lone wolf attacks are very, very hard to stop. But there are different techniques that the police department has as far as sharing information very, very quickly. Shea says that intel passed through every level of law enforcement, from local, state, all the way up to the FBI. What's important is that they will use human information and gather intelligence. San Diego police say some new safety measures you can't miss. Uh, you are going to see a significant police presence, an increased police presence. Shea says others will blend right in with the crowd. There's people not in uniform that are looking and paying attention to what's going on. So you can see there's obviously a lot of people out here tonight even, and Shea says that's what you got to do. You can't be afraid of the terrorists. You got to live your life the way that you want to. We're live out here in Hillcrest tonight. Brian Shlonsky, 10 News.